in the most unique competition ever. The woman who has earned a place in the pageant is... A group of ordinary women. You're going to be a swan. Oh, I'm so excited. I never thought in a million years it would happen to me. Hand over their lives to a team of cosmetic and plastic surgeons. You have to be a little bit more dramatic to her face. They will be put through a brutal three-month makeover. This process is not easy. All for the chance to become beauty queens. The liposuction will give her a killer body. Each week... Two contestants will be transformed. I was just an easy target for kids to pick on. But only one will be judged beautiful enough to move on to the pageant. I am going to be a new person. I just don't know how much more of this I can take. I told you you're going to do The Swan transformation requires discipline. From this moment on, you got to eat properly. You have to think military. 24-7 commitment. Sacrifice. I would hate to see all the work you've done and then butter makes you lose the pageant. And paid. I feel worse than I expected and I need to lay down before I punch somebody in the face. They will be constantly evaluated. She could go into an emotional tailspin. I have to get out of here. I don't know what I'm doing. And they will do all this without ever seeing their reflection. Oh my goodness, no mirrors, no mirrors, no mirrors. Until the final reveal. Oh my god, that was a beautiful! All in the quest to be crowned the Swan. Good evening, I'm Amanda Byram and welcome to the Swan the most unusual competition ever devised for television. Tonight, two average looking women will go head to head in pursuit of their dream, to become a beauty queen. Now, thanks to the best plastic surgeons in the country, these two women are about to experience the most radical transformations ever attempted. But by the end of the night, only one of our contestants will be changed enough to make it to the ultimate beauty pageant and have a chance to be crowned the swan. the most unique experience of our careers. Our goal is to transform average women into confident beauties. It's a brutal regimen over three months. Only some will make it. But all will be changed forever. It's time to meet the first of our two contestants. Kelly's competitor this evening is Rachel Love Fraser, a 27-year-old construction company clerk from Sammamish, Washington. Let's surprise her with the news that she's joining the program. Congratulations, you've been selected as one of the swans. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I think this transformation is going to change my life because I do believe that how you feel about yourself physically does play a part in how you react to the world and your environment. I have a horrible profile. I would like my nose to be fixed and I want to take care of all my chunks. I feel average because I look at myself in the mirror and that's what I see. I believe that has had an impact on my relationship with my husband. She's a little average. Oh. But when she's happy, she's a very beautiful person. I would best describe my daughter as uh, a female copy of me. I've uh, always felt insecure all my life. My relationship with my dad is complicated. I was in the third grade. He said, I told your teacher just not to expect too much out of Rachel. I think that was probably one of the lowest points in my life. And when you're a person who doesn't have a great deal of self-esteem, sometimes you feel like, why do I bother? I want to make a difference in my life. I don't want to feel sorry for myself.
Rachel says she looks in the mirror and she sees average, but correct me if I'm wrong, the men in her life don't seem to be so supportive of her. Is that where it stems from? She's carrying all that inadequacy that her father feels into her own life. That would be something we need to explore in therapy. I think she's a difficult physical transformation. What do you want to do with that nose, Randall? Well, I think the biggest problem with her is that she's got such long nostrils. Seen from this side, you can almost see into her nose. And I have to correct that. I have to open up those eyes, lift up the corners of her eyes. She's got a sad look. Liposuction, her chin, breast lifts, and total body liposuction. Are you leaving any time for Greg to work on her? I think it's going to be tough. She needs a lot of cardio work. I'll probably put her on a stair climber for those big, long legs. It says here she's never been able to exercise regularly or even at all. So you better keep me informed so I can keep her on track for the pageant. One of her complaints in her papers is that her smile is a handicap because she can't bite into anything. Her mouth is almost open when she closes it. I'd like to close down her bite and create nice, softer teeth that will complement Dr. Hayworth's surgeries. Rachel Swan plan will include a nose job, lip enhancement, a chin implant, brow lift, liposuction, and several visits to the dermatologist. For her body, she'll have a breast lift and liposuction in five different areas. At the dentist, Rachel will have zoom bleaching, a full set of Da Vinci veneers, and cleaning. Her fitness regimen will include a 1,200 calorie a day diet and two hours a day of intense cardio and weight training, as well as therapy and coaching to build self-esteem. She thinks she's average. Can we make her pageant material? Absolutely. Okay, let's do it then. Now it's time to learn the impact plastic surgery will have on Rachel's transformation. The key to getting Rachel to the pageant is to bring out her femininity. It's going to take a lot of work. Mm -hmm. The hardest part of your nose, though, is that your long nostrils. We're going to improve the whole thing. Then I'm going to put fat in your lips to provide a little bit more of that youthful, sexy look. We have to do quite a bit of a body change on her. She does have quite a bit of liposuction to do. So that will be a challenge. After this, hopefully, people won't look at me like, oh, you're the big girl. Just, you're, you're the beautiful, pretty girl. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> This is going to provide a tremendous change in your whole shape of your upper body. It was very weird to see the marks on my face and to look in a mirror because I haven't been able to look at myself. It was kind of nice because it's, you know, you get to say goodbye and you get to look for the last time at what you're going to look like. So it's, it's a nice memory. I called my husband and he didn't answer. It would have been nice to be able to tell him that well, right now I'm going in. But I'm not worried. This is my first step toward making it to the pageant. You know, we're going to maximize Rachel's femininity. I'm very optimistic about her. We'll do liposuction. We'll start around her waist area. So let's going to give her a midline first. Look at this curve here. This side hasn't been lipo, this side has. Okay, we're doing the nose now. The hardest part will be her nose because she has certain anatomical areas that are difficult to absolutely correct. I can make improvements, but there are no guarantees when it comes to plastic surgery. In addition to transforming Rachel's face, I was able to also redefine her whole lower body, including her abdomen, and at the end of the case, I performed a breast lift. I've given her an alluring, more tantalizing face. In a couple weeks, it'll be all worth it. Rachel has completed her surgery in relatively good spirits. Rachel faces her own challenge. I think the hardest part of my recovery is that I have to go through it alone. I'm having serious issues with my husband because of his lack of support. Hey, this is Mike, I'm not around. You lie, I know you're there. Uh, I've asked him to please keep his phone with them because you never know when you might get a call from me. You better answer today. Oh, it's gonna seriously piss me off and he does not answer his phone. Hello? Hi. What's going on with you? Nothing. Like, what have you been doing all this week? Working? Yep. You tired? Mm, a little bit. I'm not liking this conversation. 
and don't you dare get quiet on me. You don't get to see me, you don't get to talk to me. I need a little bit more from you right now, okay? Work, you mean I come home? When I go back to work? When I come home? When I go back to work? When I come home? <sighs> no, things have been okay out here. I've been going to the gym a lot. Mm -hmm, that's nice. Did you get my, um, my letter that I sent you? Oh, yeah, I got it, uh, yesterday. Did you like that? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna let you go, okay? Bye. 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 It's the first time he's had to take hardly any freaking responsibility in our whole entire lives together, which is going on five years now. I've taken care of everything. The least he can do is just sit there and talk to me for 10 minutes. Rachel's home life comes up session after session. My job is to make sure that her emotional transformation is as profound as her physical one. I'm just trying to keep my family together. Me and nothing I do is good enough either. There's been times where I don't trust him. I feel, um, you know, resentful to the person who's not putting in as much effort as I am. If you let yourself acknowledge it, you have a chance to start working through it. This issue's not going to be something that's just going to be resolved. It's something I'm going to have to work at. While Rachel is dealing with her inner transformation, Program. Now we've gathered here the team of experts who worked on them. Good evening, experts. Good evening. Well, Rachel had a problem with her weight. I mean, she came in at 190 pounds and was quite surprised about that. Nellie, how do you think she did on the program? She stuck to the program exactly. She is a superstar. Good for her. And Dr. Hayworth, you worked your magic on her. What can we expect to see? What change can we expect to see when she comes out here? Well, I did perform a whole host of strategic plastic surgical procedures upon Rachel. And I think this is one great example where her spectacular end result is greater than the sum of her individual parts. Well, I'm itching to see her, as I know all of you are. So, first of all, let me just remind you of how Rachel looked when she arrived in this one program on the first day. I feel average because I look at myself in the mirror and that's what I see. My dad said, I told your teacher, just not to expect too much out of Rachel. When you're a person who doesn't have a great deal of self-esteem, sometimes you feel like, why do I bother? Why go on? Ooh, well, she's had her fair share of struggles, so I guess it's time to see if this self-confessed average girl has blossomed into a bombshell. Here she is, the brand new Rachel Love Fraser. Rachel, you look absolutely unbelievable. How do you feel? I feel amazing. I feel, I feel gorgeous. I feel beautiful. What do you think you look like right now? If it's anything the way I feel, I think I look beautiful. Amazing. It has been three months since you've actually seen a reflection of yourself. Well, it's time. Behind that curtain, there's a mirror. It's waiting for you to walk up to it to be revealed so you can come face to face with the new Rachel. Now in a moment I'm going to ask you to walk up to the curtain. I'll ask you if you're ready and only when you feel comfortable, Rachel. The curtain will be pulled back and you'll be able to see yourself for the first time in three months. Rachel, you please walk up to the curtain for me.
Average. Oh my god. <laughs> How would you describe yourself now? I'm beautiful. <laughs> Richard, you mentioned your husband. I mean, you've had a bit of difficulty with him over the past couple of months. How do you think he's gonna react? I think he's gonna be stunned. He's gonna be absolutely positively stunned. There's no way he's gonna recognize me. I think Rachel's transformation is the epitome of a person who has, has gone from being average to being a fully confident, beautiful woman. I was frankly shocked and proud and emotional over seeing her. And um, I could not have done this without the whole Swan team. is about to move on to the pageant and could be crowned the swan. You have been judged on beauty, poise, and overall transformation. Now, along with the title comes cash and prizes worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. <laughs> In this envelope is the name of the woman who has been selected to go forward to the pageant. The woman who has earned a place in the pageant tonight is Rachel Love Fraser. Congratulations. 